everyone, Donna Don here with the next update on the War Corsair project. As you can see, I'm here. Uh, sorry about last weekend. I did get down at the airport and was doing some work. Um, I took and bent the leaf spring on the tail wheel to do a um, give it a little bit of positive angle where I raked the wheel forwards a few degrees and took it out and taxied around for about 15 minutes. Uh, like a week ago, I was out, had it out for over half an hour taxing around uh, without the tailwheel setup being done just to see if the thing was going to overheat. And I'm glad to say that it never did overheat. It got up close to the 200 mark, which the thermostat's 197, so it never overheated. So back today, last weekend, it was just kind of a nasty day uh, starting to rain, so I didn't bother making a video. Uh, <laughs> so now I'm doing this video. I've been down here for a few hours. So, sorry if the camera's not exactly in place. My screen got busted on the on the viewfinder here, so I'll have to see what this looks like when I'm done. But I've got the uh, tail assembly in. If you can see, that's the, the general hookup. Hopefully it's focusing. But this is the, the rudder tied to the rudder. Uh, I forgot to bring some oil to lube it up, but it, it seems to work fine. Uh, so I'm going to uh, take it out and do a little taxiing, see what it does, and to give you an idea of what it looks like in here. You can see these are the cables tied to the tail wheel. That'll pull, and then the other side the same way. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave these covers off for now, take it out and just run around and see if it steers. But let me show you that it works. I'll move the tail wheel. There's the rudder. And even still, once it gets to the side, once you get far enough, uh, should I pull it far enough this way? It should decouple. Yeah. See. And then the tail wheel comes back in and it relocks. So, all right, let me go ahead and end this here. I'm going to go out and do a couple little taxi runs, and then maybe I'll come back and set up the camera. So, uh, stay put. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I just did a short five-minute taxi test with the thing. At slow speed, it uh, basically compresses the springs. There are springs in there, but if you hold the rudder, it'll eventually start steering. Uh, then I started doing a little faster taxi with it, uh, doing some tight turns where the tail wheel uncouples. That all still works like it did before. So uh, I think I got this viewfinder in a good spot. I'm just going to go ahead and start up and make a couple runs down, basically straight, try to stay in focus. I can't really tell. My, my little viewfinder screen here is cracked. I hit something in the car with it, I guess, so now i got to find a replacement for that. But let me go ahead. I did get it set up. You can see it. I might get a little small in the distance, but I won't go all the way out to the taxiway. I'll just show you that it is steerable. But when you do get going a little faster, uh, I can feel the rudder. Okay, uh, the rudder pedals, pushing the pedals, the plane will steer at higher speeds, and it's, it, it's a hell of a lot more comfortable now than it was. All right, so let me get in there and show you real quick, folks.
Okay, everybody, that's basically it. Like I say, once I get her up to speed, all the little wagging around down there on the end, that's me running the rudder. Uh, you do have to get up a little bit of speed there to uh, get the tail wheel to freely move uh, without compressing the springs, but it seems to be working. It is way, way more steerable now than it ever was. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. It has got to be after 3 o'clock. And it's getting, it's just muggy out here today. So I'll go ahead and get this video checked and uh, put up tonight so you guys have something to see. Sorry about last week, but I was out here. I do have over an hour of taxi time on it now prior to this. So like I say, the one day I was out here for like six tenths of an hour. Last weekend I was out here for three tenths of an hour. And then before that I was out here for, you know, more than 15 minutes, not or three tenths. So... So I've got over an hour, probably close to an hour and a half, just taxiing it, getting used to it, familiar with it. That's before and after I got the brake master cylinders done. So the brakes work phenomenal now. They work really, really good. Just a little brake action and the rudder action now, it steers a whole lot better. It steers more like I anticipate it to work. Um, I may have to step the springs up a little stiffer. I didn't mention it, but the springs are on the inside now in front of those plastic blocks instead of in the back behind the linkage in the tail. They were tending to uh, want to rub back in there and catch, so I moved the springs to the fronter and they're half-inch OD springs, 3 8 ID springs, and they're probably inch and a half long, and uh, they seem to be working okay. Um, if I need to, I can still put a little heavier spring in there. It's easy to take apart and change out. So, all right, folks, that's going to do it for this week's video update. I hope everybody enjoyed the little taxi test. As always, feel free to leave any comments, questions, or concerns. I'll answer them as they come through. Appreciate everyone taking the time to watch these videos, of course, and all the likes and subscribes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put away and head for home. So until next one, I'll see you guys probably next weekend. This is Down to Down Out. Oh, today they're working on the ramp again. Taxiways uh, doing more seam sealing. So I can't get out there and do any taxiing there. they got a whole work crew out here retarring everything still. So, all right, folks, that's going to do her. I'll catch you guys next week.